Hello guys, welcome to this video. Let's talk today about this Hike Vision VR not detecting the hard drive. Okay, so if you have this message in, on your screen, it's not detecting for any VR or any VRs, the solution is the same. Okay, so let me just show you here on the screen. So as you can see, I have any VR connected here and I have also a camera. So this camera is pointing to the NVR that I have here. That's the DS7600 series, right? That's the one that I have right now here. And I have the hard drive from Seagate, the Skyhawk Lite. In my case, the NVR is using this hard drive and it's working. Let me just show you here. Right click and I go here to menu and hard drive. And I see the information for capacity, status, property, type, free space and everything. It's correct here because it's working. Your case, if it's not working, that's the reason you are here on this video, right? Perhaps yours here doesn't show this information. And then you need to check something very, very important. Let me just come back here. So basically at first it's not here on the menu, right? Basically at first what you have to check it's something here on the NVR itself, okay? So you come here to the NVR, you check that the NVR is using a good brand like Seagate Skyhawk. And there is also the Skyhawk Lite as I have here. Make sure it's a good brand. That's a hard surveillance hard drive. Some regular hard drive like for PC doesn't work very well. So it may be not compatible with your NVR. So that's why you have the message uh, on your Hackvision NVR that the hard drive is not detected. Okay, because it's not compatible, it's not going to detect. That's the first thing, right? Replace with a surveillance one from Seagate, Skyhawk, and Skyhawk Lite, and also from Western Digital, the purple line, purple, okay? Check your cable. So here it's connected to the hard drive, of course, connector here to the board, and also for power, so we have uh, here, power and data well connected. I'm sure that you already checked at that, but double check, make sure everything's good here. And the other, other thing here that's very, very important that I see most of the people don't pay attention to and solves most of the problem is this. Okay, let me just show you here. The power supply. Look at this one. This one is very small and it's not powerful enough. Okay, you connect your power supply to your NVR and if you are going to use power to make sure uh, that everything's working here. Okay, the board, the hard drive, and also cameras there are connected to the NVR, right? In this case here, I'm connecting a camera on this port. It's a PoE uh, port that powers the camera. And I have this camera, a high vision camera connected to this port. So the power that comes to the camera goes through the NVR first. That's why I can't use a small power supply. Uh, so let me just get another one here. So here we go. That's the other one that I have. It's a little bigger, but still not powerful enough. And then look at this one. Then I have this power supply that's huge and very, very good. This comes with the NVR. Uh, in this case here, it has like 54 volts. That's because this is a PoE NVR. It requires uh, that voltage. And here's the amperage, right? 2.68 amps. This is for output. Okay. So I connect to the regular power, 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. And here is the output, 54 volts, continuous and 2.68 amps. And that's the one that makes it work, right? I was testing before just to, to see if the hard drive was going to fail with the other power supply and it fails for sure, right? And also make sure something that are using to power uh, your NVR, it's not like a extension that's not good. For example, this one, sometimes it's too long or the cable is not good enough. So don't have power enough for any VR. So replace with a good one. Test directly connect to the outlet, guys, first. And later you can use extension cord to make sure that's working, but get a good one, okay? 
to make sure that, that it works. And I also want to show you something here, just a quick test, as you can see here. I have this electricity, electricity meter and it shows here the wattage that's, uh, that's using right now. And I can also use the amperage, I can show the amperage. So right now it's less than half amps, but sometimes it spikes, especially when you turn the inverter on. Let me just do this right now. I'm going to turn it off. So usually I come here to the inverter and go to the shutdown button here. Click here and say shut down. Shut down the system, yes. So I do this to make sure that's properly shutting down, stopping recording so I don't lose any data here in a recording. It's important to do this as a professional. Wait for it to shut it down. So it's going to warn you here that's ready to go. Then you can shut it down. You hit, see here, you see here, please power off, right? Then I come here to the button. I'm gonna just power it off. You can see, not in the screen anymore. It's off now. And then I'm going to power it on again. So click here the button and take a look here. And the electricity, electricity meter, it's varying a lot because it's, the system is going to start and then there are some spikes and it needs to power the board, it needs to power the hard drive, it needs to power the camera that's connected here. So it spikes a little bit and start varying here uh, the water. You see here now on the screen, it's putting up. And now with a good power supply, I have a good power supply there connected. So it's going to power the NVR and everything is going to work fine, right? So just wait a little bit more because it's powering up. You see here, not right now, it's like 15 watts. And it's good to have a electricity meter like this one, guys, because it helps, right? And look at the screen now. So the NVR it's up, the camera is still not. Remember that the camera takes some time to power it up, uh, 30 to 40 seconds, and it's, it comes up as well. Then I right click and come here to menu. If you change your power supply, you switch to a good one. You just come here after you power up with a better one come to the hard drive and then you're gonna see just like mine here working okay it's just a question of put a new power supply there and you're gonna immediately see here the new one and that's detected right so nothing to do here uh, other than initialize here or format the hard drive after you see it here you need to click here of course when you're gonna format it and click initialize and you're good to go okay so it works like this. Let me just come back here, see that my camera is back. Okay, so it's working basically for this Hikey Vision in VR. So a uh, hard drive not detected, problem solved by replacing here the power supply or the cable, okay? So guys, if that works for you, just leave your comments here. If it doesn't work, leave your comments as well. And uh, just write down the brand that you're using, uh, not, not the brand, but the model, the Hikey Vision a model they're using, right? The power supply they're using that helps other people that has the same issue. They can read the comment as well and make sure theirs works as well, okay? And subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos like this one, okay? And I see you in the next one.